A Virginia correspondent for the Anti-Slavery Standard reported, quote, the slaves evidently have an impression that the war may give them freedom. Now, Virginia slave owners and Confederate officials confidently asserted the loyalty of their slaves, and they made immediate plans for their conscription into military service, not as soldiers, but as uh, laborers, as, as people who would be forced to participate in the Confederate war effort. But an undercurrent of fear also prevailed. Rumors were everywhere that a slave insurrection was in the works, and white Virginians actually took legal action in a number, an unusual number of cases uh, in which they formally arrested and convicted several slaves of planning rebellion that spring. OK, in short order, Union forces advanced across the Potomac River into northern Virginia, taking Alexandria without a fight. Everywhere, Union commanders helped to assuage white Virginians' fears that their presence would incite uprising. So you have Union commanders uh, throughout uh, the sort of in, uh, growing occupation of some areas of the South reassuring slave owners that they would not interfere with slavery, that they had no intention of doing so. Now, that might have been the official policy, but Union soldiers, by their very presence, could not help but open new possibilities in the lives of enslaved people in Northern Virginia. As the editors of the Freedmen and Southern Society project noted some years back, quote, military activities in Northern Virginia in midsummer, which climaxed at Bull Run, allowed many more to escape, including hundreds who had been brought into the region to help supply Confederate armies, end quote. So the, this region, Northern Virginia, has been comparatively understudied in the um, emancipation process, with most of the focus going to Southern Virginia and Coastal Virginia, especially where Fortress Monroe was and where Benjamin Butler was. And so we actually, there aren't very many very good accounts of the process by which, uh, in even the main accounts of the Battle of Bull Run, don't tend to mention anything about slaves either working on the Confederate fortica fortifications or escaping from slavery in Northern Virginia. So this is actually not something that has been uh, studied very much.